Welcome to HVAC Startup Technicians, guys. And today I am testing a compressor, but um, this compressor is a commercial compressor. It was come out and I think it was in one of the Daikin units. And I just want to go and show you how you test a commercial compressor. Because for the residential compressor, it's completely different from commercial to residential. So I think we want all these... Um, we, whatever we get, we get in here, we want it to be equal to the, all of these when we, we're going to ohm this out, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to turn our meter to ohms. Alright, we'll meter it on ohms. And the good thing about this meter, I could just stick it here. Alright, and we're going to just go from lead to lead. And then we're going to see what our reading are. And we're going to be able to know if this compressor is good or not. Um... Once we're within three or four, um, three or four percent of that, we should be good. So let's go take take a look at this. So we're gonna first put one lead here, and we're gonna put another lead right here. And it's reading now. So this one is giving me eighty-seven. Eighty-seven. I'm gonna just move one hand here. This one is giving me eighty-six. So we're right within range, and I'm gonna just move this other hand here and put it on this lead, and this one is giving me 88. So from everything, it's telling me that the compressor is good because I'm reading on a commercial compressor, as I said, all the numbers you're getting on the terminals should be kind of equal to the same compared to a residential compressor, which I would not want to confuse anybody now. So I would not talk about a residential compressor. I'm going to talk about a residential compressor in another video. Another thing you could do if the compressor is grounded, you could take this um, meter and you could put it on continuity. And you know it's on continuity when you put these two together, you get a beep. And if you put a lead here and you get a good ground connection and you get a, and you get a lead anywhere and you hear this beeping, that means it's grounded. But you know, we realize this is not happening. So, this is an instance where this compressor is still good. Um, I don't know why it was changed, so I wouldn't get into that. But this compressor is good, so you're just ohming out your compressor. And it says we're doing commercial today. And this commercial compressor, all the leads here should be equal each other. You know, so. Anyway, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. And I'll see you on our next video where we will try to get a residential compressor and we'll try to do a residential compressor. But changing a compressor is very easy. People um, also diagnosing a compressor is easy. But a lot of people try to make it sound like it's completely difficult. But compressor, ohming out a compressor is very easy. Anyway, guys. Thank you so much, and I thank the guy that showed me how to do that, and he knows who he is, who he are. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to comment and subscribe.